Take a lot of melee builds, huh? Nah, one more can't hurt. Today we're going to be focusing on what I consider to be the best stasis melee, Withering Blade. This ability allows you to throw a stasis shuriken that bounces between up to four targets and also slows them. It's naturally very good at ad clear and it coming with two passive charges helps that, but two charges just <laughs> is not enough. I don't want to be seeing charges, I want to be seeing melees and Grim Harvest definitely helps with that. This aspect state defeating slowed or frozen combatants creates stasis shards, which when you pick them up will give you a small amount of melee energy. As you can see, this procs off any kill we get with our melee and the melee energy we get back is good but can be improved using whisper of hunger this fragment increases the amount of melee we get from our stasis shards to a pretty decent amount already alone this is a very good combo giving us back a lot of melee energy but it can easily be improved firstly using gambler's dodge and whisper of refraction i'm sure you know what gambler's dodge does already it gives you a melee charge whenever you dodge near an enemy but whisper of refraction on the other hand will give you a uh, class ability energy when you defeat a slowed or frozen target i almost fucked that up unfortunately this doesn't proc off just normally using the melee and getting an instant kill, but if anything survives at least one hit and you kill them, it gives you a lot of energy. Which, as stated before, gives you more gambler's dodge, which gives you more shurikens, which also gives you more shurikens, but more importantly, gives you more gambler's dodge. You can see the loop there already, and it's very prominent. But we can give ourselves even more melees by using a couple mods. First and foremost, Bountiful Wells and two melee wellmakers. This means when we get a powered melee kill, we're going to summon three stasis wells, which are going to give us back energy for all of our abilities. All being key because not only does it give you back melee energy but it also gives you back dodge energy you can see where that goes and on top of that we're also going to be pairing this with another two mods that being elemental charge and heavy handed elemental charge means when we pick up a stasis well we're going to get two stacks of charge with light and heavy handed means while we're charged with light and we throw our melee we're going to instantly get back half of our melee now unfortunately this doesn't proc while you have two charges of the melee but as soon as you have literally anything under that it will proc every goddamn time and since we're generating so many wells all the time we'll basically basically never have to worry about running out of elemental charge, well because it's progged all the fucking time. And that combo all together gives you literally bottomless shurikens. I cannot state that enough. Unfortunately though, you can't really take it any further from that. In terms of armor exotics, nothing really matches too well. Of course, Akamara Grass is a pretty obvious option, but the exotic itself just actually isn't very good. I personally go for Renewal Grass, giving me incredible survivability, but you can go with whatever you want. And you can also pair this with Winter's Shroud for a very obvious combo, but you don't really need to. Other than that though, that's a it. This build is extremely fun, if not one of the best builds for low tier content, and in mid tier content, high tier content, it still does pretty well just because it's stasis. That's about it. Enjoy the gameplay. See you.